Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to compute derivatives using the quotient rule. Here is the quotient rule. We use the quotient rule when taking the derivative of one function divided by another function. It may look hard or confusing at first, but after using it a couple times you will get the hang of it. My high school teacher also had us memorize it by repeating the second times the derivative of the first minus the first times the derivative of the second over the second squared, where the first is the function f and the second is the function g. It may seem like a lot to remember, but after saying it to yourself 15 times, you'll be good to go. Let's see some examples. Here's our first example. We want to compute the derivative of 3x plus 9 over 2 minus x. We see that we have one function f, divided by another function g, so we can use the quotient rule. This equals 2 minus x times the derivative of 3x plus 9 minus 3x plus 9 times the derivative of 2 minus x all over 2 minus x squared. We compute the derivatives of 3x plus 9 and 2 minus x using the power rule and constant rule and plug in those values. Now we can simplify this and get 15 over x minus 2 squared, our answer. Next example, we want to compute the derivative of 4x squared plus 1 over x. We see that we have one function, f, divided by another function, g, so we can use the quotient rule. This equals x times the derivative of 4x squared plus 1, minus 4x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x all over x squared. Next, we compute the derivatives of 4x squared plus 1 and x. We will do so by using the power rule and constant rule. We substitute these values back into the equation, and this simplifies to 4 minus 1 over x squared, our answer. Last example. We want to compute the derivative of the square root of x over x squared. We see that we are dividing a function f by a function g, so we can use the quotient rule to compute the derivative. This equals x squared times the derivative of the square root of x plus the square root of x times the derivative of x squared all over x squared squared. Next, we compute the derivatives of the square root of x and x squared. We'll plug in these values back into the equation. And this simplifies nicely into negative 3 over 2 times x to the 5 halves, our answer. Computing derivatives using the quotient rule can get a little messy and confusing. So for more help on this topic, visit www.sibolab.com and click on the Practice tab.